Hey, I'm Mike Beckerell, and today we're going to take a look at a wide interval Jonathan Kreisberg string skipping lick. Let's take a look. <laughs> So the concept behind this lick is pretty simple. We're going to play around an arpeggio shape and just supplement each of the arpeggio notes with another note on the string. So we're going to start here with D minor 7. We're going to base around, around that arpeggio shape. So we're going to start here on the top on the flat 7, the C. And we're going to pull off to the A. Then we're going to go down to the 3rd, the F, and we're going to pull off to E. So those are our first four notes. Then we're going to skip the third string altogether, and we're going to jump down to the fourth string, down to the fifth, the A. And then we're going to pull off to down to G. And then we're going to turn it around by going <clears throat> to the flat seven. We're going to skip the fifth string, go right down to the sixth string. I think you're going to grab the flat seven, that's C there. And then we're going to go back up in the opposite direction. Now for picking, the way I pick this is I go down, pull off, down, pull off, down again, pull off, down. So all down so far. And then up, hammer on, up, hammer on, up. Down, 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 up, up, up. We can move that around to different arpeggio shapes. So, so let's go up and down the C major scale. So here, and we're going to take, we're going to take the same concept basically. We're going to start on the seventh, pull off down to the fifth, third, second, fifth, fourth, seven, and then reverse it. So it's B G E D G F B, and then back up, and it, and it's all in the same strings with the same exact picking. And we can do this on any shape in the scale. Just two chord, D minor, three chord. Then we pull off from the third to the second, we go to the flat second, because this would be the Phrygian chord, right? This is the three chord, it has the flat two on it. Basically just take this shape and make it fit your scale. This one has a sharp 11. There. So we went through C major 7, D minor 7, E minor 7, F major 7, G7, A minor 7, and B minor 7 flat 5. Now rhythmically, I'm playing this as 16th notes, and it's a three it's a three beat pattern. One E, one E and uh two E and uh three E and uh But you can also play this as triplets. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And so forth. That gives it a different balance and it works just the same. We can take the same thing and easily apply it to our pentatonic scale because we usually play our pentatonic scales in two note per string groupings, right? So we can just morph the note rather than fitting our arpeggio, it's fitting our pentatonic scale. I'm doing the same exact thing. Basically, two notes on the first string, two notes on the second string, two notes on the fourth string, one note on the sixth string. And you can easily make that fit each one of your pentatonic box shapes. And 
that goes through all five of them. This is a really easy concept, so I think something fun to work with. It can immediately add some interest to your lines because it's so wide, wide open, you know? And I think that makes it a lot of fun. So I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Keep practicing. I'll see you next time.